This tutorial will demonstrate the Download USGS Rating Curve Data Tool found in the MMC Bathymetry Tools Toolbox. The toolbox was developed by Gannett Fleming for the MMC Map Production Team. This tool will extract USGS stream gauge data from the internet and save it to a text file. To begin, I have a USGS stream gauge layer in an ArcMap document, version 10.1 or later. I'll first make sure that this gauge layer has the required fields that the tool needs to run. Site underscore NO is the required field and it must be a text field. Select a few stream gauges that you want rating curve information for. If a rating curve exists for these gauges, this tool will save the flow and stage data to a text file. Drag in the gauge layer. There's an option for the type of results that are returned. If you check this first box, the tool will adjust the stage information to an elevation based on the gauge datum elevation found from the gauge website. For this option to be available, a conversion field must exist in the data. The conversion field is called CONV29-88, to and it must have valid conversion values. The values represent the conversion values between vertical datum NGVD29 to NAVD88. With these values, the rating curve data will be returned in elevation as well as stage. Also with this option, if the input gauge layer has gauge datum EL29 and gauge datum EL88 fields, the tool will populate the fields with the correct values. The user also has the option to reduce the data to a maximum of, maximum of 100 points. Select an output folder to save the rating curve text file to. The file will automatically have a name of USGS rating curves. Click this button to export the selected gauges to a new layer. Enter a snap distance to move the gauges to an input stream centerline. If the distance you enter is not large enough to snap to the gauges, to snap the gauges to the stream center line, they will be exported, just not snapped to the stream, stream center line that you give to the tool. Enter an output location and name for the export stream gauges. Once this information is set up, click OK to run the tool. You must have an internet connection to run the tool. If you selected less than five gauges, which in this case I did, the information will be written to the tool dialog, but it will also be exported to the text file. If you select five gauges or more, it will not be written to the tool dialog and only to the text file. Let's review the results. Of the four gauges that I selected, two of them do not have datum information. And of those four, three of them have rating curve data. So in that case, the three that have rating curve data will be written to this output dialog. The stage and discharge is written to the dialog and can be copied directly into Excel or HECRAS. A snapping distance of 500 was what I input into the tool. So these gauges were snapped to the stream center line that I used as input. The layer is automatically added to the map. And since I had a 29 and an 88 field within my attributes, it populated these values and also populated a Z value based off the 88 field and a profile M value. So this field represents the measure along the input stream center line that I gave it. I can go ahead and open up the text file that was created. And you see that it exported all the available information includes the site number, stage, 
the elevation if it converted it discharge and the vertical datum that it's in.